Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz with Jiangyan Wanru. Today we're going to talk about Bertrand Nash equilibrium. So bottom line first, suppose we have two identical firms, firm A and firm B, in the market of duopoly, and they compete in price. Then there is only one Nash equilibrium where the price of firm A is equal to the price of firm B, and that's equal to their marginal cost. And I'm going to prove to you why this is true. So suppose in the beginning we don't have a Nash equilibrium. We have instead PA is equal to PB and that's greater than the marginal cost. Now let's take a look at the profit of firm A. So pi A, the profit of firm A, is a function of PA and PB. And that is equal to PA minus marginal cost. Suppose we don't have fixed cost and marginal cost is only cost. So PA minus marginal cost times the quantity. Now, because we have a duopoly and the firms have the same price, so they share the market. So the quantity is equal to the market quantity Q divided by two. So that's the profit of firm A, which is also the profit of firm B. Now, suppose the firm A asks themselves, hmm, can we do better by lowering the price? Because we're competing in price. So suppose firm A drops the price, so now we have a new price where PA star, that's a new price, that's equal to PB minus epsilon, so just tiny a little bit lower than the price of firm B. And remember in the beginning PA was equal to PB, so the price was also just tiny a little bit lower than our original price. Now because the products are identical, so firm A is going to grab the entire market. So we have a new profit where the profit of firm A is equal to PA star minus the marginal cost times the entire market quantity. So we know that because PA star is only tiny a little bit lower than PA. So our new profit is going to be higher than O profit. Now in this case, firm B is going to lose the entire market because the firm A grabs the entire market here. So pi B, the new pi B will be equal to zero given that firm B does not change its price. Now we know that firm B is not going to just sit there and be beaten up. It is going to find a strategy to compete with firm A. So you see that's our beginning point where PA was equal to PB and that was our marginal cost. So firm A first said that I am going to lower my price so that my price is a little bit lower than from B's price. Now from B gets zero here, so from B is going to say, you know what, I'm going to set a new price, PB star, which is a little bit lower than PA star. So in this case, from B is going to grab the entire market. And from A is not going to sit there and be beaten up, so from A is going to further lower the price, so the new price, PA double star, is equal to PB star minus epsilon. So both of them will keep lowering the price until they hit marginal cost. So eventually, our Nash equilibrium is this. PA is equal to PB is equal to the marginal cost. So each firm is making a normal profit or a zero economic profit. So this is our Bertrand Nash equilibrium. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.